All right, welcome back. So we're in an interesting time right now because we have MPC 3.0 and, of course, we have the old legacy MPC 2.x I'll refer to. Um, and that we have features um, not just in the actual uh, sequencer, but we actually have features in the key group programs as it relates to expansions that are exclusive to 3.0. Therefore, uh, sounds that were created using some of these advanced features in 3.0 will make that sound likely to be incompatible when you're running it in legacy mode, such as 2.x. Uh, so for that reason, we're in an interesting time. Uh, to be clear that the expansions that I've created here on the store as of today, in February 2025, uh, the sounds are moving forward and they're taking advantage uh, of uh, the 3.0 firmware. So I'm kind of moving the whole web store forward. Uh, I'm going to declare that the Older expansions, uh, or the expansions that I have right now, will have uh, mixed performance compatibility with the older firmware if you so choose to decide to use them in the older firmware. Therefore, there are going to be some sounds that just will not work properly, and some will. However, if you move over to 3.0 firmware, uh, they will be 100% compatible, and you'll be able to enjoy some of the newer features such as... Um, modulation routings uh, and especially the key group the multiple samples of key groups that you can have in your in, in your sample instruments uh, but that being said we still can use the the old software desktop software to take these newer expansions and we can use that to convert files so we can send them to our NPCs running 3.0 and basically I'll break this down and kind of get into the technical process so the first thing you want to do especially if you're new to the MPC you're going to want to download the driver so that you can interface this MPC to the actual software if you need to um, and nowadays what their Akai is doing is when you register your MPC uh, on their in music website uh, you'll be directed to download uh, the in music software center which is an app that runs on your Mac or PC and you'll want to get your driver from here so you just go into here and you go uh, into your hardware and all your devices that you own which you see here will show up and you'll have a setup uh, under your particular device that you own and you'll run that setup and you'll walk through all the steps and the second step is all about after you hook everything up uh, is to run the apps and drivers portion, which if you step through each phase, uh, obviously mine's already installed, so I don't have to do that. But once you go walk through this whole phase, it will download that driver to your directed downloads folder on your Mac or PC, and you will uh, be directed to go through the process of installing that driver. Once that's installed, your Kai MPC will be able to run in control mode, and you'll be able to interface with it directly with the software. Okay, now that's down 100% required, and we're going to kind of show you uh, sort of the broad range of being able to export your sounds, and you'll make that determination of how far you need to go. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, you'll get a file that looks like this when you purchase any expansion from the store, and these are direct installers, and the software is actually required in order to do it. Now, you also get a second file, and I'll show you that file uh, once we... Um, go through this process. So what I'm going to do is I'll launch the software, drag the installer right on top of here, right about right here. Okay, and it's going to ask you to import the file. Let's import it. Now it takes a minute for the file to show up. This is all expansions here will will be dem will be shown here. If it doesn't show up in about 10 or 15 seconds, you can go into your tools menu. If you're on a PC, you'll get to it or Mac of course you can get to it from here and you'll hit rebuild browser database now it just so happens that on the Mac OS version of this particular software they have displayed all these tools up here as well so you if you're a Mac user you have an option to go to either or all right and what that does is it tells the software to to refresh the actual playlist inside the actual resources folder 
in the library of your Mac or PC where the actual expansion is actually installed. Okay, so if I go in, this gets a little technical, but if I go into where the original folder is on the actual Mac in this particular case, I can see in real time. So I'll install another expansion called Key Standard 3.9. It's going to ask me, do I want to import it? Yes. And if you look at the window to the right of the screen, you're going to see it compile literally on the hard drive of the, of the Mac. Right there. Okay. So as you see, it hasn't showed up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the tools. And I'm going to go into rebuild the media browser database. And now you can see it show up and it's right here. Okay. And also down here, you can choose to view your expansions like this as well. You can do it either like this, like this, or like that. Okay. All right. Now, here's the key part, which I'm going to re-explain. Once your expansions are in your software, now you're able to actually export them into a file format directly or non-directly to your media that may be located on your MPC or may not. So let's just cover the example. As you can see, my MPC X is actually in controller mode. And so therefore, this example, I'm going to directly import this file into the MPC so I can use it in standalone. So I'm going to Momentarily open up the MPC XSE. All right. And I'm going to actually, uh, I'm just going to, for this example, take out the expansion folder so there's nothing in there because I want you to see what happens in real time so you can see what the software is actually doing. Okay, the software is not actually converting the expansion files in terms of the program files. It's just creating the proper support documentation so that the MPC when it's standalone can see those files. So let's just go in here and I'm going to go into tools, expansion manager. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under a uh, file and I'm just going to export the expansion. So there's a couple ways of doing it. This takes me directly to the directory of what expansions are located actually on my Mac right now. And I'm going to send these over, both these expansions, I'm going to send them over to the MPC XSE. Now, when you drop down here, it's very important to understand that you can export these to any external media. It just so happens to be, uh, this media is my solid state drive that happens to be uh, installed inside the MPC XSE. So it's sort of a matter of convenience. So I'm going to export it. And I want you to see... What happens on the screen here? You're going to see folders automatically being created by the software itself. It's going to make sure that they get placed in the proper folder, create the proper folder, and create the proper documentation so that the MPC can read it when I run it in standalone. So I'll hit export and watch this. There's the expansion folder. I just created that. Here's the first expansion that I sent. And then here's the second expansion coming up. Key standard. So this is the solid state drive that's installed in my MPC. Now if I had an SD card plugged into the front of the MPC, or if you had MPC keys, for example, 61 or uh, 37, you can direct those expansions directly to that media as well. Uh, you, you just direct it on, on the expansion folder. So now, let's go back here. So now the MPC, I got th both those expansions on my MPC XSE. This is still in control mode. Now, before I leave control mode, I'm going to show you so I'm going to export these expansions. So like I said, you can do it through, if you're new to the MPC, we'll do it 
through the tools menu and I'm going to go to expansion manager. I'm going to go directly to the export right here and that takes you back to this menu. So that's just a shortcut to get to this menu. Now I'm going to select in this example, I'm going to send it just to another hard drive. So let's just send it to my Final Cut Pro hard drive. So this Final Cut Pro hard drive uh, is, is not hooked up to an MPC at all. It's just a, an external media drive. And I'm going to send this expansion over to just an external drive. So hopefully this, this makes it more clear. So Final Cut drive. Two expansions. There's the folder created. Here's the first expansion. There's the second expansion. What the software does is it creates three different files that you need to have in order for your browser to uh, see these files. It creates the expansion folder exactly spelled like this. And then it creates a cache JSON file, an expansion file, and a tags cache JSON file. Essentially, that's what we're using the software for, essentially, is to create the the, the parent folder that's titled Expansions with a capital E, and it's creating those three support files. That's all we're really using the software for in this particular case. All right? And so we hope Akai, uh, you know, allows us to, again, support these expansion building. We hope. All right, so now I'm going to close the MPC software out. And I'm going to focus over here. If you focus on this screen here, I'm going to run in standalone. And so we're running 3.0, uh, 3.4.1. It's the Gold Master, the first version of the Gold Master. And I'm going to go in the browser, and we should see the first two expansions that I installed here. And if I go into here, and there's the sounds. If I go into here, if I go into Crispy Keys, there's the sounds right here. If I go into the Electroacoustic, okay, so you can see the sounds in here that are coming in there. All right, so that's just the basic general installation process. And I think the video, uh, I used to include like a PDF step by step, but I think this is such a technical process if you're new to this that the video just uh, explains it better. So um, so that's pretty much the gen general gist of installing and exporting your expansions.